<laughs> Hi, I'm Sasha. This is my take on the famous Italian dessert tiramisu, and I've made it easy for you. Mm. To make this, I'm going to use four eggs that I've split between whites and yolks, four tablespoons of white sugar, 250 grams of mascarpone cheese, that's typically one tub you'll buy in the store, 200 grams of sponge fingers, two teaspoons of espresso coffee, and one shot of your favourite liqueur. I'm using a coffee based one here as I feel it works particularly well. To get myself started, I'm going to be making a very strong cup of coffee. This is going to be put into my wide base bowl together with my shot of liqueur. This is the bowl you'll be using to dip the sponge fingers into. I'm going to let that cool so I don't burn myself. We're going to beat the egg whites in a bowl until they're nice and stiff. Here's a little Sasha tip for you. If you use half a teaspoon of cream of tartar or some citric acid, it'll save you getting any sloppy bits and help them whisk up into nice peaks. In another bigger bowl, mix your egg yolks and your sugar with your whisk. When they're light yellow and creamy, they'll be ready. I've got to my light yellow creamy consistency, so I'm ready to add my mascarpone cheese. And continue whisking. Now that my egg yolks and mascarpone are all mixed together, I'm going to fold in my egg whites. I'm using a gentle folding action to keep as many air bubbles in the mixture as I can. The plan is now to build two layers of sponge fingers, creamy topping, sponge fingers, creamy topping. So I'm going to start by soaking each sponge finger in the coffee and making my first layer. Now that I've built my first layer of sponge fingers, I'm ready to add half of the creamy topping. Now repeat that all again for the second layer. Once the last one's gone in, you're ready for your second layer of topping. Pop it into your fridge for at least four hours or overnight if you can. I've waited more than enough time now, so it's ready to decorate. I'm going to lightly dust mine with a little bit of cocoa powder. That's all finished now and ready to enjoy with your friends. If you've enjoyed this recipe, please subscribe below and come back for seconds.